2016 Honda Odyssey automatic transmission fluid external plate and fan cooler install. I uh, went with the uh, Durali Series 8000. I think the 6 and 7 are pretty small and they're not built as robust, I guess. At least that's in my research. This particular one is stock number 13501. Um, it's a uh, Class 2 cooler. Now, I'm going to link to a thread on the Audi Club forums um, where, deep into this thread actually, I'll deep link it to uh, a gentleman who outlined a similar install, not the uh, OEM, but it was a uh, long true cool, which I would have preferred, but they're a little harder to get these days, a lot more expensive, and this thing was only $60, $65 ship. I also bought a $4 mounting kit which just comes with some pre-drilled metal brackets they're pretty flimsy but they do the job so in that thread it, it'll describe all the breakdown what you need to remove of course you got to remove the bumper the splash guards the cowling up front here uh, you also have to remove this uh, front bumper member frame member here but anyways this is what i ended up doing you can see here this is the factory mount position i think that's metric six M6 um, metric bolts. I've got lots of them laying around. Uh, I, you know, I just bent it so that you get clearance so it doesn't rub against the uh, power steering cooler there. And I put, uh, put a little plastic guard on there anyway. Um, <clears throat> this line is coming from, from the return of the radiator. So it supplies the radiator loop comes out of the radiator loop. This is coming out of the radiator loop, coming into the top of the cooler here. And then coming out of the bottom of the cooler here is going to the return, which is the filter side. So you'll see a canister filter in there, which then on the bottom of the filter has a short uh, hose run to the lowest point in the transmission. That is my research of the return line. What I found out is the return line. So the filter is the return line. Um, I use some marine heat shrink here, doubled that up, same on the hose down here, and then I zip tied it to kind of make it float between the AC condenser and this uh, frame member here, and I think we're going to be okay. Again, I'll link in the description um, all the details about disassembly of the front end to, to, to make this work, but just to show you that's what I did one gentleman actually made a bracket out of aluminum that stretched all the way over to here oh one other thing I did there's a plastic air cowling right in through here that you're supposed to cut out for the hoses uh, I'm not putting it back I really um, I really don't think I'm going to lose much of anything without it it's just like the one over here so it's got this little deflector here and it has a little deflector here so it's not going to have that and I really don't care so that's my personal preference um, anyway that's the install thanks for watching